Hi, this is uh, Chris Jobling and I'm going to uh, give you a quick look at Microsoft's new Whiteboard app which has just appeared on iOS on iPhone and iPad. Uh, not available yet I don't think for Am for uh, Android uh, and the, but there is a, a web browser version and, and a plan I think. Uh, up, up until now the main application has been for Windows. So here it is, this is the app uh, on, on the iPad. A very simple interface you've got uh, this plus to add a new whiteboard page and you've got the usual sort of drawing tools it's very very like uh, OneNote in in terms of its uh, of the sort of tool set that you've got uh, and it's quite a nice react sort of reactive uh, interface in terms of pens you can't change the pens as you can in OneNote at the moment, but you, I'm sure that's going to come in later releases. Although you do have the rainbow pen, as you can see, which is very popular, I think, in, in OneNote. My, my application, of course, would be for mathematics, and for that it's uh, as good as... as good as it would be say on uh, on OneNote which I, is what I use currently at the moment for this sort of whiteboard application so I think that's quite uh, useful some other nice tools you've got this this line uh, this ruler which allows us to to draw simple geometric figures straight lines and so on so that's quite a useful tool um, other things like ink to math and things not available yet but maybe may coming I should think in the future uh, we've got some options up here for example ink to shape which allows us to convert drawings of simple figures and, and, and tighten those up so that's that's a feature from OneNote uh, ink to table not sure how that works maybe I'll explore that at some other point I'm not sure what active pen means so obviously I've got a few things to, to learn. The other main thing you've got is that this is a, an infinitely, infinitely big canvas. So we can make, we can uh, scroll this as, long, as far as we like. And, you know, we just make it bigger and bigger, use more and more space. So that's very similar to uh, OneNote, infinite scrolling canvas. When you finished, uh, the way I would probably use this is I would take this uh, image and I'd export it to Classroom Notebook. So in this case, I would be exporting to OneNote. I'm going to use my journal here just to illustrate the, the way it works. So that's uh, that. And you could cause clear canvas and, and so on. And then when you when you finish with a picture, you can you can uh, just create another, another canvas. So that's uh, that's one note. That, sorry, that's one. That's uh, whiteboard. I think it's going to be quite useful um, as a as a tool. It sort of solves some of the problems we have uh, using uh, new media. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't didn't mention is you can add other people to your to your uh, to your OneNote and, and invite them to join you in so that multiple people can contribute. So they're very useful in meetings, I would think. Um, but I haven't tried that myself. So that those are the features, I think. Very, very interesting. I'm sure it will develop over time uh, as more and more features, perhaps from from the drawing canvas in uh, in one in OneNote get added to this this tool. So we'll look forward to that. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon.